Hello and welcome everyone to the next episode on SAP Analytics Cloud Planning Tutorials. In this planning track tutorial, we're going to learn about how to do update scenario with SAP Analytics Cloud Planning. Update scenario always helps you to analyze the data set and the distribution of values of newly introduced values in your account dimension. For example, what if my company decides to introduce a new product in the market and what will be the sales of that market and overall impact of my company revenue of that newly introduced product. All these analyses can be performed using update scenario. So let me switch it over to the system where I've already created a planning data model in SAP Analytics Cloud. For detailed training on creating planning model and working with all the diff different scenarios like what if, update, allocation, distribution, spreading, value driver trees and and also the actions, data actions with the copy and scripted data actions on entire SAP Analytics Cloud with formulas. Please subscribe by training on anubotrainings.com. So what right now I'm going to do is I will go back to uh, my story page. And what I'm going to do is I will be creating a new story. So let me switch it over to new story, create a new story in SAP Analytics Cloud. And of course, I'm going to choose my data model as my planning data model. So let me create an empty canvas page. And of course, I will just go ahead and choose my data model as Anubo Planning Data Model. And now over here, what we're going to do is we will go back to the story page and add a product table. So in my table, I'm going to showcase here the total profit of each product or total gross sales of each product on quarterly basis. So let me go ahead and add a couple of account dimension here so I'm interested only to see the gross sales for different products and I'm going to add my row as product and we'll go back and choose here the options to just see me or show me only the footwear products and then additionally, what I'm going to do is just go and select my columns as my time dimension. And just to show the data for all the different time dimensions in year 2018 and 19. And I can see I've got the sales here for all my footwear products. I have right now only two footwear products in the company. And this is my quarterly sales for different years for footwear products. Now, what if my company decides to introduce a new product in the in the company? How much sales is going to work for that? All these kind of scenarios are called update scenarios. For that, what I'm going to do is first go back to a data model. And over here in the data model, go to the products. And I'm going to introduce a new product. Let's say PRD007. Or 8. And I'm going to add sneakers I can say this is going to be in the hierarchy of all products footwear and click on save okay maybe I just created as PRD 0008 and I'll save this so there is already a member which I've deleted I need to introduce that member once again for some reason so let me add a member which I kind of already deleted, some old member which it is not allowing me to delete. Click on save. Model has been saved now. Fantastic. I can go back now and you can see currently it's not showing me the newly introduced product. So what I have to do is I just have to go to my product data, click on more options and say show me the unbooked data. And now you will see system also shows you the newly introduced sneaker product and an old product which is already there. Now I would like to know, for example, in 2018, I would assume that sneaker sales are going to be same as my sales for running shoes. I can go back and copy that or I can also just give a random sales number for sneaker shoes. Maybe 320.55, press enter. At the same time, you can see system has automatically distributed the sales equally across all the four quarters. We can go back and change the distribution by right click and distribute value. Distribute it to the child members as let's say my first quarter will have 20% sales, 
next is going to be again 20 then next is 35 and the last quarter will have 25 percent of the sales click on apply the distribution will change accordingly for the product values i can save my story now and this is how i can see my overall impact of newly introduced product on my overall sales on quarter and quarter basis so all these kind of scenarios which you perform on sap analytics cloud are called update scenarios of course this was just a preview for the complete detailed training on update scenarios allocations value driver trees distributions spreading data actions which are scripted and copy data actions including formulas complicated planning scenarios on sap analytics cloud feel free to subscribe our course on anubhavtrainings.com thanks for watching and i will see you in the next video